fish on, Kevin. Nice Snake River fine spotted cutthroat. That's why you come to the Yellowstone right there, folks. Hillary, nice rainbow out of the yeah. Eddie. I've known Hillary since she was uh, about 14 years old when she worked for our family as a, a nanny and uh, we had a bed and breakfast. She worked in the bed and breakfast and she got old enough to guide and went to work for Glacier Raft Company, became one of our fe first uh, female fishing guides. Uh, yeah, she's uh, practically been a daughter to me. Okay, so we're in this little channel. There's a bunch of baby tarpon hanging out here. And uh, we had a jump, one jump in here. And Dawa handed me the rod. I caught a tarpon up here. And then we had two more chases, one good jump. So we're moving into the channel a little bit more. And uh, Darwin's just kind of working it all the way back. Got a good looking green fly on there and um, waiting to see what jump again next. Well, I'm here at Ascension Bay because it's February in Montana and it's warm and sunny here. Uh, not that I mind cold weather, I've spent plenty of time in it, but this is always a good getaway. Grand Slam Lodge is it's really first rate. Uh, great accommodations, great food, great staff, great guides, and uh, so you know it's been as far as I'm concerned, you know, the top notch of uh, the lodges that I've been to. You know, saltwater fishing is just a new thing for me. You know, I'm still trying to chase those permit down. They seem to be eluding me. We had plenty of opportunities at permit. Uh, there was a guide once that told me with permit, you know, everybody has to do their job. The guide has to do his job. The angler has to do his job. And the permit has to do his job, which is to eat. It's a great place to be in February, and uh, I hope I can uh, do it for a lot more years. Uh, my name is Miguel Encalada. I'm the lodge manager, general manager of Grand Slam Fishing Lodge at the Ascension Bay, Mexico. And I've been running the Grand Slam since two years and a half ago. Yellow Dog is one of our main booking agencies. They do a great job for you guys and us. They give, us, they give you guys all the details about uh, what the expectations will be on the fishing and of course the type of accommodations and service that we provide at the lodge. We're one of the only lodges in the area who has 24 hour electricity, AC at the rooms, swimming pool and just a luxury place where they can really relax while their spouses are you know, fishing up on the flats. We have the top guides in the area, uh, guys who have been fishing in the area for 20 years. They know the area by hand and they love to be up there. That's one of the most important things that I that I realized with the time that all these guys love being on the flats and they have the 
passion of getting an angler on the fish. That the fishing at Ascension Bay is one of the best ones in the Caribbean. We got a lot of permit, tarpon, bonefish, and snook. And that's one of the main reasons why our lodge is called the Grand Slam. You're able to get the four species from the Grand Slam. So we moved out of the mangroves a little bit, came kind of around into another area protected a little by a reef out there. So what are we looking for now? Yeah, we have uh, the burial reef on, on, on our left, facing east, and then we got the shoreline of the beach up here. We're looking for, for baby tarpon too, and some juvenile tarpon in this area. Mm -hmm. As the wind is coming from the north, we're able to, uh, to chase uh, a little bit over here. And uh, we got the permit rod out just in case we run into some permit up on the surface. Perfecto. You got it, Jack. Jack. We call it a Mayan permit. Jurel. Try not to force it. Remember, you got a really light shock. Okay. I'm bueno, los jacks. Good eye, Denny. Yeah, remember you have a, a 15 pound shock on it. Okay. And Jack's had teeth, so just baby it. Uh, I see Jack, they came in a family. Usually, uh, when you're casting to permit, and that's one of the things that happens a lot, permit is just looking at your fly and jack sometimes when you when they're in school they're under it and sometimes they take the fly you know before before is the permit they're stuff? really aggressive or is it just swimming right at the boat yes it's coming okay. towards us ocean's cool okay, okay so we have the sink off the boat that's good so I have to have a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Very important. Sweet. Tarpon on. And the good thing about the tarpon over here, when you find them, they, they're really hospitable. They go for it. All right, you know Love it. So we parked the boat way over yonder, and then we've just been waiting almost neck deep out here uh, because Daniel saw a bunch of tailing permit. A big school actually right out here, so we walked out here quietly and got into them and got a couple shots in there they didn't eat. And then they were all around us, running every which way, and yeah, we got a couple more shots. But it's like elk hunting, you know? It, it was awesome, so fun. And look what we're doing, this is insane. So lucky, but um, we might still get into them again, but that was pretty cool to hike out here. You know, I won't say I have a list, but I've got some people who I really like a lot and who are really important to me and who I really want to be in my life for the rest of my life. And Darwin is one of those people. And so now that I feel like I'm semi grown up and we can come down to a place like Ascension Bay, I, I feel like we're friends. I feel like we can hang out. I still look up to him. I still honor him. But I feel like now um, we can come down to a place like this and fish together as friends and as um, you know partners in this fun life. And it's just been great.
Yes. Oh, is that a bird? Are you kidding? Blue runner. <laughs> God, that's fun. Nice job. That was awesome. It's a Man, little guy. That's all right. That was good. It's blue runner again. So fun though. We saw it. Was a blue runner that jumped too? When he jumped. Oh, what the? Shark. It's Look at shark. that shark. You know, Darwin gave me my, my start, my chance in fly fishing and hired me on, you know, back when I was a teenager. And along the way, he's always subtly giving me a lot of advice. Blue runner. <laughs> Is that what that whole school was? Yeah. Is that a person be, or I mean a permit behind him? They follow the ray because it flaps its wing and stirs up the bottom. Oh. That way it's like a smorgasbord for them. Right. It's just been awesome and everything I hoped and I'm just really lucky to have a friend like this. All right, nice big blue runner. <laughs> Matches my shirt, I guess. <laughs> Pretty cool. All right. Gracias, Daniel. Thanks, Star. I, so I woke up and I checked my email and there was a message from Bob and I, I, I don't know I wasn't even really I was just expecting a you know happy birthday babe and he said happy like an e card <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no not an e card and um, and it was happy birthday babe you're going to Ascension Bay with Sarah Davison to go fly fishing Sarah, I, I think all one. of you is good. Yes, Mom. <laughs> oh, Tension on the line. Wherever he go, put your tip to the opposite way. So put it to the left. All right. Thanks, coach. Keep coaching me through this process. Tip down. Not like a bob. She's different. Just tip down all the time. Okay. Yeah. Tension, 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 tension. Okay, okay, okay. Two to the right, two to the right, two to the right. All right. Pull, pull. October 22nd, 1981, fished upper end and caught two, about 15 inches. Also went over to Finger and fished. Real windy, but we had good luck on Wooly Stitch with fast retrieve. 
This was a little treasure that I found in the bottom of a box that arrived on my doorstep and I wasn't expecting it. Um, when I opened the box, it was all of my grandfather's fly tying material. And so what did in you the bottom of the box it? was my grandmother's journal. And when I opened it up, I realized that um, this is her fishing journal and the earliest entry is in 1979. I brought this journal along because I want to record my trips and I, I hope that one day my children will want to read about my adventures. Well, I started fly fishing in junior high with a friend, just kind of learning how to cast and catch cutthroat out on the middle fork of the Flathead River. And then I never wanted to stop. And so in high school, I started working for Glacier Raft Company, and I'm a fishing guide there now, again, after taking some time off. So I'm really hoping that I never stop. Uh, one thing that I keep reminding myself is that fishing is fishing is fishing everywhere. I mean the same kind of themes apply. You can think that you know what's going to happen that day and you get out there and everything changes. Today was a perfect example. Yesterday we had a really good day. So we thought for sure we'd get a grand slam by noon. We came out today and it was slow. By noon, you know, we're silently chewing on our sandwiches and going, oh my gosh, what are we gonna do to make up this time? All right, Elle. She is sad. I'm not catch permit. I don't know. She have a three or four chance no bike. <laughs> You all can leave. I'll, st I'll just stand right in there and wait for the permit to come. Don't make me fall. We didn't really end on the note that Darwin and I wanted to end on, which was with permit. So we're leaving here without a permit. Um, we got bonefish, tarpon, hooked into snook. Um, we got, you know, a bunch of jacks, a bunch of blue runners. You know, Darwin caught her shark. So it's like, sounds like all your dreams have come true, right? Well, we <laughs> really wanted a permit. They're all ready to go, but I'm just looking out for one last shape of a permit headed this way. It's not coming. And they're making me leave. But if I see one right now, we get one more cast. Dang it. Ah. The coolest thing about it is that you just can't be in control of it. Enganchaste otro. Se fue. Enganchó uno él más. También se le fue. Y aquí estamos en Showbom. En el canal. In the canal. <laughs> yeah. So, um, hopefully, you're, you're learning enough Spanish, if you don't know Spanish already, to understand what he said. But if not, all you really need to know is a couple of Montana hacks came down here and slapped water, got lucky a little bit because we have a great guide and having a ton of fun. Thank you so much. You're doing such a great job. We're Good so job, Daniel. Yahoo! <laughs>